Namaskar everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be sharing with you more about your subtle energy and your energy body. How you can begin working with that in meditation. So my name is Ved and welcome to this video, this little practice with me. I help people to learn how to meditate, to tap into their deeper spirituality and to learn to express their full potential on every dimension, every area of their life. And I have a real passion for that. I love to talk about spiritual things. I love to meditate. I love to practice yoga. Um, I really love sharing and teaching that. That's part of my work that I've done that I'm totally committed to for the past few years. Um, totally dedicated to that in my life. So I'm very happy to be sharing with you here how to build your focus by learning to work with energy, subtle energy. And I hope that you watched the previous video because this video makes much more sense <laughs> once you've watched that one. Okay, so remember that I said you have an energy body. This physical body is just one layer of your experience and inside of this you have an energy body. Energy body is driving the physical body. And in that energy body you have a central energy channel. Do you remember the name in Sanskrit? It's called Sushumna Nadi. Nadi means energy channel. And along that central energy channel, which stretches from the top of the head down through the body to the base, along it, there are special points where there are energy centers. That's what we call chakras. And of course, I could teach you about chakras on and on and on, but today I am just giving you a little introduction into how to build your focus using this chakra, the point that is here. Now it's not actually physically here, it is an energetic point and we tend to feel the sensation here. We tend to feel that there is some power coming here, emanating from here. And it's connected to the central energy channel, it's connected to the whole apparatus, biological apparatus that we call brain, brain and head, right? That's there. This energy center is called Ajya. Ajya chakra, brow chakra, if you want to say, at the brow, third eye, some people call it. And you can begin using it because it's a power that we all have. That power is in our energy body. And we can begin accessing it, opening it up, and using the spiritual power in meditation. Meditation is the classroom where we begin developing that power and understanding it and understanding how to use it in our life. So just as I did in the last video, I want to just take you through a few minutes guided meditation with me. It's very, very short so that you can see if you can catch the movement of energy from me. Okay, this is not something that you learn very easily from reading a book or from watching a video, although we can try it through the video and I hope that you do get some sensation from it. Really something you have to learn from being with someone, from being with somebody who understands the process, understands the the practice of meditation and understands how to help you get to that experience. But I'm here to help you try. I'm here to support you to see if you can get there. All right? So what I want you to do is just settle in, sit up straight, okay? You don't want to have the body like this, slouched and contracted, because then the central energy channel inside you is all crooked. It's all turned up, and the flow of energy will not be so good. You really want the the channel to be straight and strong, encouraging the, the best flow of energy in the body. Now you can just gently close your eyes and tune in to the sound of my voice. Let's pay attention to our breathing using what we learned so far. Slowly breathing. And slowly breathing out. Long, deep breath. Empty the lungs come. Then slowly breathe. Slowly breathing. It's very good. Slowly breathing. And slowly breathing out. Now let's use our affirmation 
Let's use the word peace. Inhale. Repeat the word peace in your Repeating the word peace. Allow it to flow over you. Exhale. Repeating the word peace. Notice how you feel that you go down. Now pay attention to your central energy, where it would be in your body, perineum. You inhale the energy flowing up, rising. Slowly breathe. See if you can live the feeling. You might also begin feeling very warm. Energy tries to cleanse the channel. Now with me, focus your attention at that point between the eyebrows. Focus as you breathe. When you breathe in, it's as though you're trying to breathe through that point. Out. We are trying to. It's okay if any thoughts are. Stay with your breathing. Focus the All right, let's take a nice breath all the way in. To breathe out, just let go. Bring yourself fully back into your body. Let go of the process, coming more into your body. Bring the weight of the body. When you feel ready, you can just open the eyes. Coming back. Back to me. That's good. Very well, nice. So, I hope that you were able to feel something happening here as you breathe along with instruction. There is, there is an inward process happening. You start to focus more internally. Try to observe what's happening inside of you. And that's really a process of meditation. Meditation is an inner journey. It's, it's really learning how to master your own energy, your own physical powers inside of you. How to open up to it, discover it, and begin working with it. That for me is the excitement of meditation that I love to share with other people. So I hope that you have gotten some tools that you can use to build your focus in your meditation practice. Do you remember the four tools? Breathing, mantras and affirmation, 
breathing along the central energy channel and then breathing into this energy center, this chakra that is there, the brow chakra. Those are four methods you can use to work on building your focus. And remember that focus is just like a muscle, right? The more you practice it, the stronger it becomes. And the more you develop your focus, you will realize it is an incredible power. When you can focus at will on something, the, the things you can accomplish, I mean, it's totally amazing. I remember for myself, when I started to become more focused because of my spiritual practice, um, hard to describe, it's like, it's like you, you gain this kind of power that you, that you can use in your life to, to work on whatever you want to work on. All right, so if you want to learn a little bit more from me, you can check out the resources. Um, this video is in the info of the video, most likely. And um, let me just invite you, if you want to explore meditation with me, be part of my spiritual community, have a framework to learn meditation, have some guidance in meditation, you can look out for my online meditation member. It's a very, very it's a growing community of very strongly spiritual souls have that focus who want to learn meditation and go deeper into their spiritual power so in the next videos let me just remind you what i have planned in the next videos i'm going to talk a little bit more practically about how to find time to meditate right how you can arrange your schedule for, or for meditation when is the best time things like this so that you can begin integrating your meditation practice um, out your, throughout your schedule or into your life so that you can get more meditation practice in and experience more of the rewards of meditation. I look forward to sharing with you some of my strategies and how I stayed on the path of meditation and, and got to where I am today. All right, so I will see you next time, everyone. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Um, if you have any questions or you want to share your experience with me, I look out for that, okay? Do send it. To put it in the comments so you can even send me an email if you find my email <laughs> and i will be very happy to respond and to see how your practice is progressing in all right so namaskar i will see you in the next one take care